If you look at your background, you know, you designed the iPod. Where on earth did you get the idea that the next big thing you were going to do was the thermostat? Well, the, the first thing was that I had a, um, a, a one and a two-year-old, and we were designing and building a house um, for our family. So we wanted to build the greenest, most connected house that we knew of. And I said, wait a second, these thermostats, how can they be so expensive? How can they be so ugly? And why don't they help me save any energy? How exactly does it work? The Nest Learning thermostat is, is a thermostat. It's obviously very different looking than a typical thermostat that you might be aware of. But literally, you just take off your old thermostat, you put this one on, and instead of having to program your thermostat to save any energy, Nest learns from your adjustments. So in the first week, it kind of watches what you do in the morning, at night, and watches when you turn it up and down, and it starts to learn your patterns. You designed the iPod. I mean, that, that's something to have under your belt, right? <laughs> Uh, you know, take me back to, to those days. Uh, what, what were they like? And you worked pretty closely with Steve Jobs for a long time. How did he influence you? Well, it was, it was an amazing time, you know, from 2001 until I, I left the company in 2009. We had a, a tremendous flourishing of ideas, and, and, and they still have great ideas and great products today. And Steve really uh, taught us about customer experience. And that's not just about using a product, but it's about the, the packaging, about the installation and the unboxing, about the, the marketing, about the customer support, about the retail experience. When you think of a smart thermostat and you look at this trend, we just keep hearing about more and more about software and hardware and, and, and how they're just beginning to take off the, this combination. Why is that happening now? Well, I think, you know, I've been doing this for over 25 years. So hardware and software, that's all I've done. Um, but if you look, there's, there's two trends that are really happening. Number one is self, smartphones have taken off. And with smartphones and cell phones in general, the component prices, the little components inside that make up a cell phone have gotten so cheap that now we can embed those microprocessors, those sensors, those displays and everything around us because, you know, if you can afford a cell phone, you can probably afford the components to put in other products. And so that's the first thing. The second one is because of the power of the Internet and the power of distribution of both ideas as well as products, you're able to take those sm small, cheap components, build your own product, and then show the world on something like Indiegogo or Kickstarter and show what ideas you have and validate them with, a set, with an audience that people can actually uh, you know, sign up and, and purchase.